Warning! This video is not appropriate for anyone under 21 and is not intended to purposely show or exploit video game nudity. It is intended for artistic freedom, science, educational purposes only, and hopefully some awesome storyline entertainment. If you are offended by video game violence, gore, blood, strong language, romance scenes, video game animated CGI nudity, then this video is not for you. Please turn it off and go watch something else. Viewer discretion is highly advised. What's up, YouTube? Dog Hill Damien coming at you live from the Starship Voyager. Where I am hanging out with Tom Paris, Harry Kim, and the Doctor. And we have created a hollow deck simulation that totally embraces the Baldur's Gate 3 theme. And we are having a freaking blast. Even the doctor is really getting into his part. We are having a wonderful time. So we are picking up right where we left off. We are currently exploring the Underdark. We met the leader of the Spore people. Sovereigns. We got Gloop in our party. We unfortunately rescued Bibblebang. No, with the husband of the wife. Even though I tried to blow him up, this was the very first time he actually survived the entire explosion. As you will see in the last episode, if you watched the last episode, he actually survived that. I, it blew my mind that he actually made it out of there alive. And I seriously was trying to kill him. Because I'm evil. And I've just been slaughtering everybody. Yeah, I came over here to uh, talk to Blurg. Because I wanted to try to On my way. buy some merchandise. And now we are going to come over here. Forgetting something. What? Sorry, love. Absolutely worthless. Did it work all myself? I really did try to kill him. He survived. My friend, Bibberbag. Curious, beautiful, but dangerous. Next time, more careful next time, for certain. Thank you. For your help. Believe you me, I was not trying to help you. Hey. Oh, you may be right. And worse. Yes. Worse by the day. Should have waited for dinner. Anyway, what were you saying? The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. My, um... My words get away from me. You'll have to ask Derith. She knows the ins and outs. Noble stock. Yes. Derith needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. A and a ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. Mushroom. Powerful. Dirith wants it for a brew. He's very good, my Dirith. Very good at a brew. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. 
Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Please, Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Might do. But why bother? Thing sells in town for enough to make your eyes bulge. Wait, what? I got a... What? What? I got some gloves? Okay. Cool. Master's back. Good. Missed him. I should speak up. Uh, can't be too careful in these parts. Paper bangs the least of it. Just double checking. Making sure. A few moments later. A camp. Looks abandoned. The names of settlements are crossed out. Breachstone, Sinkhole, Salson, Lolf. Old Kel, demons. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds spooky. That sounds scary. Doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, I forgot to hit my alarm. Four minutes. Rotten mushrooms. Mmm, delicious. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. And if you do not know, you will soon. What is this dog collar for? We will be wearing it. Cause we're, we're we're weird like that, you know. Dig up a dead dog and then wear its collar. Mm -hmm. Later. I need a quick word. What? Gek, got someone sneaking up on us. You got a bloody rot for for company. Must have let it get in your head. My axe will fix that in no time. Really? That was the dialogue. Got to focus. Need to find a way forward. Oh no. Loot died? Ah. Really? I I didn't I didn't realize he died. Oh well.
The wall is riddled with holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Centipede-like aberrations that feast on the dead. At one time, these caverns must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. The passage narrows and bends, becoming impassable before you're even elbow deep. Drow's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Through backpack, too light, fell. Mushrooms, disappear, guessed wrong. Worked alone, better that way. Ask no more questions. Oh, oh, what? We've got to keep moving. I guess we're not privileged enough to go in there, are we? No, you're not. Is that blood? No, never mind. Not from someone's campfire either. Best be careful. Don't touch me. Swift as my feet can carry me. Breaker. The 
this way. See, a shovel came in handy after all. Moments later. All right, you guys. Take a chill pill right there for a second. needs a key I don't need no key there I open the door In this place make sure you read all the books there is a book somewhere in here that will give you a nursery rhyme that you will use when you get to the top floor when you meet the robotic butlers the flower powered up this unit as you saw which now you could take the elevator if you so choose this is also the place where you will use the dog collar. Uncovered mysteries. Detect thoughts. Awesome. Beautiful. Seems like the owner was quite the literary type. Now, if you didn't come around from this way and jump to the mushrooms and jump over here like I did and then jump over here, if you come in the tower through the door where I just, well, you can, no, if you come in this way, okay, you could come over here 
this ledge. Jump down on these mushrooms. Jump down here. And you'll take some damage. But you jump down here. Down here. And then you go over here where I was. Down where I put the flower. The blossom in. To power this up. So there's two ways to get down here. I always just. When I figured out this way. I just did that first. Because then I could activate the. The lift here. So. There's a little. Helpful tip for you. The disc is formed from slate. And engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely. But can't make much sense of them. Using the cipher you found. You might be able to reveal the disc's meaning. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc, and from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gait shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Flacketh seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew Flacketh's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Well, so the narrator tells the story instead of Lizelle. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. So this is where you wear the dog collar. You put the dog collar on that you dug up from Marina. Myron, Marina, Myrina, Myrina. And then over here, you come and push the button. It's okay. You have permission to push the button. Feather, food is dispensed for anyone wearing this collar. Now you get a free raw steak and a bowl. Only one serving for me, I guess. Oh no. So now, if you want to goof around, you can give it to someone else. And then have another companion push the button to see what happens. Hmm. Only one serving for me, I guess. Which is nothing. Maybe it's because she's a, a hireling. I thought it had a different dialogue, but let's try it one more time. No more. Not one for gluttony, I see. So yeah, basically it's just one. You get one. All right. What now? But that's where you use the dog collar. New sounds to the damp and dark oppression break. Is it the foe? The foul, contemptuous heel? You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. How much of love for me? Not love for blood and steel. Command as you see fit, my lord, my liege. You do not the deepest secret show. Reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. And congratulations. 
to receive this beautiful ring. Good job. Now, over in this corner, where this guy's standing, this stool is called the Stool of Hill Giant Strength. Yeah, I know. Who names their stools? No, not poo poo stools. Things you sit in, you. You. Get your. Stop that. Destroy the stool, and you will get the club of hill giant strength. Now, by now, it's probably not, you know, a very good weapon for any of your characters, but the fact that you get a nice, uncommon weapon just from destroying a stool is pretty cool. Command is my lord, my liege. I'm humble to them. There's all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Command is your future. I've only had one conversation with this guy and I left. I got the club and then I would leave. I never did all the dialogue, so let's let's have some fun. And in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that the one can fly. Probably that's why. Command is your future, my lord, my liege. I'm humble to them. There's all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Not sure what he just gave me. Command is your future, my lord, my liege. I believe I just did this a minute ago, and they all attacked. If I'm not mistaken, I want to let's get a history lesson if we can. An unbeknownst command that I cannot fulfill. An unbeknownst command that I cannot fulfill. Of course, my love. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug, as if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loved, Lenore, so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. Proud of you. As I already am. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. His hands close around the air next to your face, 
as if he's taking the hands of someone taller. What can I do? Say, would you like a hug? From here, for just a moment. Don't burn it out. Remember, you are loved, Lenore, so much. You're doing great. And everyone will be so proud of you. As I already am. So, Ooglash was too tall. She was too small. One step at a time. Still breathing, despite everything. So come back down to the lowest level and put the ring on that that robot gave you. I don't know what the switch did yet, if anything, but let's go see where this takes us. All right, we uh oh oh uh oh. The table's having a meltdown. I don't think I've ever really... F I didn't... I didn't come here on my good game. I, I won't... I won't... I won't fudge it or lie. I never... Never came here. Now we can go right to the top floor now. Or ascend to the level upstairs where we just came from. Oh. Hope your soul Rickety is chair. Health. Nope. No fancy new weapon. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Oh, and there's Tongue of Madness. Oh, dude, what's that? It's the Staff of Arcane Blessing? The Hearst Diary. The sp Sparks Wall. Where it can't be electric. Well, that would be nice to have when you go up and fight the guys upstairs. When you do that last dialogue that you saw. And that battle ended in pure death for everyone. A metal door? Sure, why not? Let's go for it. So, I'm... Okay. The lever that was up on the fifth floor, or the top floor, that... We didn't know it opened. Here you go. This is what it opened. Because this was a solid wall when we came. Because remember, this is where we came in. We came in here. And we explored. We put the, the blossom in here. There was no entrance over here. Later. Sword, 
dagger or sickle. Great sword. Dagger or sickle. Well, hello. Well, I've been doing the dagger every time, so we're just going to stick with what I know. And we're going to do the dagger. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. Now, this would be a good example Careful. and a good place right. to have the scratch and sniff to go along with the storyline. Like I mentioned in another episode whether it was in this evil gameplay or my semi-evil gameplay i was talking about the old school scratch and sniff with the cartoons or you know comic books or just kids books where you got to where you're reading the book or whatever and you scratch the cherries and you just smell it it smells like cherries you scratch the the was supposed to be poop or or candy or whatever that was that they had in the scratch and sniff series the candy scent that they just said you could you know larian studios scratch and sniff yeah do it make scratch and sniff cards for us the fans to purchase at you know a very reasonably small price so when we're playing the game we could just scratch and sniff and smell the stuff i don't know remember the old children's books where I, I think they still have them where you would when you go through the book you could feel they had like you could feel fur or sandpaper or rocks or you know like you get to f play, read, and feel the book. Those were always cool. Yes, I'm older. Moments later. We're going to poison her. Damn it all. But no. I want to have a word. Ah. <sighs> Like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. What more would you ask? The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. A new harmony, serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you 
you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergarb light, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Mykonid dead. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. More busy work. That's royalty for you. Everyone's their servant. I ask a boon, and will give one in return. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death, and return. No. I actually am not going to kill him. He's going to be my buddy. Because I want to see what happens when I get to Moonrise Towers. If I don't kill him. I wonder if I could smash those without... Getting attacked. What do you think? Why do you want to smash him? Because Uglash smash her big brother Uglash smash. So Uglash wants to smash too. Hold on. There it is. There's the other part. Numb mating rituals. An odd book for a drow to carry. Yeah. Because I mating rituals. Mmm. Mating rituals. Oh cool, I'm all like sparkly. Oh, I got the bliss spores. They're mine until next long rest. Let's learn about some kinky stuff. But no, actually, let's make the... Let's make the staff. proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. Mad supposition, questionable diagrams, and many gleeful references to tentacles. Not an overly academic text. Underdark Fauna is a topic much written on, but this title has never appeared in any collection you've seen. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Well, all that remains is to reach it. Oh, that's okay. We know where it is. The corpse regards you lifelessly. 
battle with rival summoned spectator. Glory, we search for the adamantine forge. Philro, Dorn, each held knowledge none would share. The secret to mastering the Adamantine Forge book disguised by magic. Oh, why did I ask that? I already knew that. Secret to its operation book disguised by magic the spell's power yeah. waves you can ask no more questions he already told us that that was like double dialogue see tell you choose beefy trust me always always much 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 later vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. You, what are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? Easy these days. Many, many minutes later. <laughs> Too bad I can't like blow this boat up. They just like catch it on fire, blow it up, watch it sink. Still alive, so that's progress. The craft is ready to sail.
equipment are ready, lass. Company's calling. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? Another belligerent dwarf? <laughs> this is getting tiresome. We'll see about... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend Nair caused a rockfall. Trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. We have to free Nir before we can take his head. Sounds like a lot of wasted effort. Might be worth talking to some of the gnome slaves. Before they're worked to death, that is. Go on. What are you looking at? Move. Reinforcements, huh? Let's see how long you last. That drow. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Cultists, threat to Baldur's Gate. Jahira's orbs. Jahira? Can't say I know the name. Have none. Well, that's a bummer. Dwerga cultist. True souls command. Bell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Don't like strangers here. But Absolute must have took you in. Me? Who else? My spiders sussed them out of hiding. Then near taught him a thing or two, and I let him fly. Caught him sniffing around. Easy marks. Had the stench of the toplands. Hung them here as a warning. Ain't no one drugs with clan flame shade. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill. Everyone here. Speak with animal school, All right? I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no love. No spider queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. <laughs> Father Murmuth protects us. He shelters us. He is all he is and all he is not. Fools, 
Don't you see? The time of Mermath has passed. The Spider Queen awaits us. Ungrateful. Traitorous. Undeserving. Le Autan. Le Fu. Le Jocks. Father Mermath. That is all. You heard her. Xanta was a betrayer. We will miss her. But she was wrong. Father Mermath, Father Mermath, Father Mermath. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. I've got a long road ahead. You attacked someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. I'm I'm going to kill everyone. Of use? Have to keep going. I am on a slaughtering mission. You do not tell me that I cannot loot or take whatever now. I want. Take that. I am going to kill whoever and whatever I want. Not me. You wouldn't survive a ten day on your own. Ten day. Listen, I'll give you that. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> oh, hate being taken all literal like by fancy types like you. We've work to do. Stuff your Pegasus where the rainbow don't shine. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Quit sniffing around. You're starting to get on my nerves. Nerves? Some of us don't have time to faff about. Very well. Hello? They. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers.
crooked touch. Never a dull moment. Time to press ahead. I wish I had a bag of holding. Hmm. That stone there's been pried loose. Still alive, so that's progress. Best get going. What now? No one stopped me yet. Uh oh. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay. So. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step and a blow us to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Careful. I'd rather not have to pick bits of gnome from my hair. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. Damn right, Fecker. Now shut your face before I melt it clean off. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rotting moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Gerdal Iron Hand, I have lived for you, and now I'll die for you. What the drug? You. You know nothing of me, damn it! Shit! I can't do it! Go on! Drag me to Moonrise! I'll make you cult nutters suffer! I knew I couldn't trust you! Do it then! Make it hurt! What's in here? Well, that was fun. But oh no. Well, now I don't have anything to blow up the you know what and rescue near. Oh. Oh well. doing in the underdark whoever built it they've let it rot for ages she just had dialogue come into her shadow 
Let all that is past be forgotten. Seems like a good moment to talk. If you aren't here to inspect the stonework, then get lost. And if you are, well, I doubt you've got anything useful to say. Can I kill you? How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. I have come up regrettably short. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see. And be thorough. I am evil. Evil. Where's my... Dart urge dialogue? Imagine smashing his head into the brick. Imagine slicing his tongue out. I mean, come on. The dark urge is doing a history lesson? Examining rocks? Eh. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it. An ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Ah, that explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Well, let's see what you've got. That's all then. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorn. The name means little to you, yet your heart pulses to its rhythm. Thorn. Thorn. Hmm. Mighty elf, 
Cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone. Until the near came. I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. Afraid! Afraid of Thorm! Do not think on it further. Rest. I will see you safe. You realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Powerful enough to take her own revenge, I'm sure. No need for us to get involved. What's in here? <laughs> Easy. Watch your back. The real Sparky Sparks Ball. So is there a fake Sparky Sparks Ball somewhere? <laughs> Moments later. Anything of use? This is a harper room. There must be a stockpile nearby. Left out in plain sight like that? No. The harpers are too smart for that.
for someone there? He stole my weapons? Well, that was rude. A few moments later. So it's bedtime for me, bedtime for them. So let's camp real quick. Seems simple enough. So there's four my hireling slept with us. That's that's pretty cool. Usually like okay, a couple of episodes ago when we camped, it was only me, Shadowheart, and Astari Astarian. It was only three bed there. But now, my hireling is sleeping with us. That is cool. I like that. I'm glad. Because I, they're always hiding. They're always over here. You know, I mean, not here, but depending on what camp you're in, they're n near or around where there's, you know what I mean? So that was, I like that. I'm glad. All right, well. I have to go to bed. Thank you.